so people were asking for for four people uh, in the world of soccer that have had an impact on you. And so here here are my four people, and I'll do them chronologically in for, in terms of when they first came into my life. Uh, first and foremost would be Trevor Francis, a former England international. Many of you may have heard of him. And the only reason that I ever cared or heard about him is because when I was a young boy growing up in the suburbs of Detroit, there was a team that played in the Detroit, uh, in the Pontiac Silverdome called the Detroit Express. And their big signing was Trevor Francis. And I'll never forget when the signing happened and going out to see a Detroit Express game at the Pontiac Silverdome, by the way, the same Silverdome that many years later I would play a World Cup game in, and seeing Trevor Francis play. And what amazed me about him wasn't the way he kicked the ball or things that he did or scored goals or anything like that. And I only saw him play live once. This is before I was watching soccer on television, but that's how much it resonated with the community. Hey, they just signed Trevor Francis. You need to go out and see this guy play. I went out and saw his play. And the thing that always stuck with me was that he wore white shoes. And I had never seen anything like that before. And so for me, again, that whole entertainer and persona and personality and costume, that's what I was left with. Not that he was this great goal scorer, but Trevor Francis. And that was the first time that any type of soccer player appeared on my radar. That's number one. Number two, in 1986, I was playing on a travel team and we went to a tournament in Colorado and that summer at the Holiday Inn they would put up a screen and we would watch the World Cup in the summer of 1986 I was 15 turning 16 years old and I saw Diego Maradona and I had never seen anybody do the things that he did in the way that he did it and it, it made an impression uh, and a lasting impression. And to this day, when people ask me between Diego and Pele, I always come down on the side of Diego because it, it mattered to me more. Third, uh, I'm going to go with the coach, Bora Milutinovic. I've talked to him. Uh, he changed my life. One of the reasons why you are listening or watching right now is because of the summer of 1994. He had faith in me to play me in that World Cup. Uh, but he taught me about the game and life. Uh, he made me think about the game in a way that I had never been asked to think about before. He, he made me care about details and small things in a way that I had never been uh, asked before. And then I, I felt like I should give a, a, an American player. I had the, uh, the privilege of playing alongside Tab Ramos, and I've talked to you about, about how important and incredible he was. He was a man at a time. He was born much too early. If he was born, to, born today, I truly think he would be one of the greats, not just one of the great American players, but one of the great players in the world. That's how good he was. And he he was slumming it when it came to playing with us because uh, because he was so good. And I'll, I, I remember watching him and being so envious and in a certain to a certain extent, jealous of the things that he could do. And I had never seen anybody up close doing those types of things. So there's there's four people that had an impact. There's a lot of other people out there that, that did, but those there's four people in, uh, in my life that had an impact. You like that clip? Well, my State of the Union podcast drops every week. Subscribe now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. For the best soccer content anywhere on the internet, follow Fox Soccer on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.